as I said, this is an incredibly complex machine, and Artemis 1 is a test flight, the first in a series of increasingly complex missions that will take humans deeper in space than ever before. But this first test flight of NASA's next generation of hardware and software is getting a critical first step in getting there. Artemis is the Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister to Apollo. And as the namesake for NASA's new deep space exploration program, it's a nod to where we're going and where we've been. That's one small step for man. And to all of us that gaze up at the moon, dreaming of the day humankind returns to the lunar surface, folks, we're here. We are going back. And that journey, our journey, begins with Artemis 1. Artemis 1, the first flight bringing together the most powerful rocket in the world with a new human space capsule and all the upgraded infrastructure back here on Earth to make it a success. NASA built this mission on a solid foundation of know-how, creating more power, more technology, and more capability to propel us farther from Earth than ever before. There are four objectives with this uncrewed first flight. Priority one is making sure the Orion space capsule returns safely, and it's no small feat. Orion will be coming in faster and hotter than any human-capable spacecraft before, reaching speeds of up to 25,000 miles per hour and temperatures of up to 5,000 degrees. Engineers will closely follow how Orion's heat shield performs. Its re-entry conditions are so extreme, no facility on Earth can recreate them. This will truly be a one-of-a-kind test. Next, retrieving the Orion capsule after splashdown. Nothing will give engineers better information for how Orion performed than the capsule itself. They will also retrieve the parachutes that slowed its descent through the atmosphere. Third, testing out all that new gear. From the launch pad to the rocket system's precision time separation, the capsule's navigation, and of course, the return to Earth. Every facet of hardware and software debuted in this new era of space exploration will be scrutinized. And of course, there's a lot of science packed in, even if people are not. And the experiments on board, from deploying mini satellites to how intense radiation will affect electronics and future astronauts, there's more than just rocket science happening here. On its 43-day journey, Artemis 1 will cover 1.3 million miles, equivalent to more than 50 trips around the world. And this is just the critical first step of several, with eyes set on a lunar outpost and beyond in the next decade. But our eyes are focused, not the immediate future, but out there. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. And on these increasingly complex missions, astronauts will live and work in deep space and will develop the science and technology to send the first humans to Mars.